Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today what we're going to be looking at is file manager again and we're going to be looking at how to use the txt files. Uh, the txt files are basically a little bit different than the json file. json files you can add multiple things anytime where txt I don't think you can. Um, if there's, if I know, like find out otherwise I will probably do a update uh, video and I'll put in the link in the description. But uh, first, uh, we need to create a file, and then we're going to specify the path uh, so we can uh, know where the config will actually be stored. And then what we need to do is uh, we need to specify the mod folder. So we're going to just do that so there's no conflict uh, between namespaces or anything like that. And then we need to give it a file name, and then we're just going to call it test.txt. And then what we need to do is we have a couple of files. Uh, we have one that's called write, and then we can write to the file of txt. And there is also one um, we will cover in just a second, but we'll basically want to print out the message. So we need one called um, the for each line. And this is also related to the txt. I know it doesn't say a txt, but it's for each line of the txt. And then we just want to update the string uh, iterator for the uh, message that we're going to be printing out. So that's basically the um, file that we'll read from. And we're going to duplicate that file and then we're going to tweak it a little bit so we can basically uh, write to the file. So uh, first thing that we need is that one txt block and then we're going to go ahead and just uh, get the registry that'll do fine for what we need. We're going to get the block state and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we need this block right here where it will write the text to the text file. So we're going to basically apply that and then you can do new line or um, basically have a new line if it, it creates it. Now, as far as I know, that might not be working. I think that might be the thing that uh, is broken at the moment. I'm not sure entirely, but uh, we also need to make sure that the file uh, exists first. So we're going to test if it doesn't exist, create the file, and then we're going to test if it does exist and then basically write to the file. Uh, once we've done that, we need to also test if the file exists in the, the read one. All right, so in game, uh, all we need to do is we need to go ahead and go to our config folder in our run folder. And this will be in the game as well. So the installation, it will have a config folder. And then we're gonna place down a mold block and then we're going to go ahead and check the config. So we have a config right here and it gives us the Minecraft white wool um, registry and namespace. So let's place a few more of these down now, sand will be the last one that we place. Let's go ahead and open up that file. We'll refresh it. And you can see it just has sand. I'm not sure why it's not adding more to the line when it's enabled. So that's an interesting thing. It might be a bug at the moment. But uh, basically, uh, how the reading part works is if you go to the file, and we'll just type some random stuff in here. We'll call it like sand clay, uh, rock, uh, wood, and we'll go ahead and type water as well. Um, and then what we'll go ahead and do is we'll save that and then we'll basically break a block and you can see it outputs all of the messages or all the lines at the same time. So basically you can do that for a number of things. You can check if there's like a player or like a player name and then you have to cycle through it all it will allow you to run that script uh, to test maybe something like permissions or maybe if there is a certain amount the last few actions that the person have done but um, again i'm not sure what's going on with the file manager for the txt part probably probably a bug or something but i'll uh see if uh, hopefully um the, the author Goldoran will notice it and see if he can't fix it but um yeah, outside of that, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward stuff, and you can basically uh, print out stuff that is different. So planks, oak, oak planks, stuff like that. But um, 
yeah, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.